The world doesn't owe you anything. Power, respect, and influence aren't handed out. They're earned through sacrifice, through pain, through unrelenting discipline. You want to be more than just another face in the crowd. Then you have to be willing to walk a path most men fear. To be a high-value man, you must become something different, something stronger. It's not about wealth or status or recognition. It's about the decisions you make in the dark when no one's watching. It's about the battles you fight within yourself, the strength to keep moving forward, even when the odds are against you. This isn't for everyone. It's for the few, the ones who refuse to break, the ones who are ready to build themselves into something more. So if you're ready, I'll show you the way. But remember, becoming a high-value man doesn't happen overnight. It's a lifelong mission. Tip number one, develop a strong sense of purpose. Purpose, without it, you're drifting, waiting for life to tell you where to go, who to be. But that's not how a high-value man operates. You need a reason to get up every day, a mission. It doesn't matter how small it is at first, as long as it's yours. A man with purpose moves differently. His decisions are calculated, every action leading him closer to his goal. When others falter, when they lose their way, you'll stay on course because you know why you're fighting. You think I put on this suit just to scare criminals? No, I wear it because it symbolizes something greater than myself. My purpose isn't about me, it's about the mission. You need to find your own, and when you do, it will light a fire inside of you that nothing, no amount of pain, no obstacle, will extinguish. Without purpose, you're already lost. With it, you're unstoppable. Tip number two, master emotional intelligence, control. A high value man knows how to control his emotions, not just bury them. It's not about pretending they don't exist. It's about understanding them, mastering them. Anger, fear, pain, these are tools. Left unchecked, they destroy you. But in the right hands, they fuel you. People think emotions make you weak, that they're a sign of vulnerability. They're wrong. What makes you weak is letting those emotions dictate your actions. Learn to read yourself. Understand why you feel the way you do. And then, control it. When you master your emotions, you don't just control yourself. You control the situation. You'll know when to push, when to pull back, and when to strike. The same goes for others. Most men never pay attention to the emotions of those around them. But a high-value man? He understands that knowing how someone feels is the key to understanding their next move. Tip number three, prioritize physical and mental health. Strength isn't just about how much you can lift. It's about how much you can endure. Your body is your armor, your mind is your weapon. Both need to be sharpened every single day. You think I push myself through endless hours of training just because it looks good? No, I do it because I know that when the time comes, when it really matters, weakness is the difference between life and death. And it's not just about your body. Your mind needs training too. The mind is what drives you when your muscles scream for mercy. You need to cultivate both physical and mental resilience. Read, challenge yourself, learn to quiet the noise inside your head. Because when the real battles come, it's not just your body that's tested. Your mind has to be unbreakable. Build it, protect it, and never let it grow dull. Tip number four, develop financial literacy. Money is power, but it's not just about having it. It's about knowing how to use it. Too many men fall into the trap of chasing wealth without understanding its true purpose. A high-value man doesn't just seek money. He seeks freedom. Financial literacy is the key to controlling your destiny. It's not about the luxury, the cars, the status. It's about building a foundation that allows you to make decisions on your terms. Learn how to budget. Learn how to invest. Understand the difference between assets and liabilities. The money you have can either work for you or it can control you. And a man who lets money control him is already defeated. When you master your finances, you'll find that wealth is more than numbers in a bank account. It's the ability to stand on your own two feet, free from anyone else's influence. Tip number five, 
Cultivate discipline and consistency. Discipline. It's not glamorous. It's not exciting. But it's what separates men of value from everyone else. A high-value man doesn't rely on motivation. Motivation fades. Discipline doesn't. It's about doing what needs to be done, day in and day out, no matter how you feel. I don't train because I want to. I train because I need to. Consistency isn't about bursts of effort. It's about grinding every single day. You want to be great? You want to be a man others look up to? Then you need to show up when it's hardest, when no one's watching, when it's painful, and when it's lonely. Consistency is the key to mastery, and mastery is the key to becoming the best version of yourself. You don't reach the top by accident. You climb there, one disciplined step at a time. Tip number six, constantly educate yourself. There's no such thing as knowing enough. A high-value man is never satisfied with what he knows. He's always learning, always growing. The world is constantly changing, and if you stop learning, you'll be left behind. Knowledge isn't just about reading books. It's about applying what you learn. It's about understanding how things work, about asking the right questions, about never being complacent. I study everything, not because I have to, but because I know that every piece of information, every new skill, could be the difference between success and failure. You don't have to be the smartest man in the room, but you better be the one who's always learning. Because the moment you think you know it all, that's when you start to fall. Tip number seven, build high quality relationships. No man stands alone, not even me. The people you surround yourself with, they can either lift you higher or drag you down. A high value man doesn't keep people around for convenience. He builds relationships that challenge him, push him, and force him to grow. You need allies, people who share your vision, your drive. But those people, they don't just come to you. You have to earn them. Loyalty is built, not given. You have to be the kind of man who others want to stand beside. Cut out the dead weight. If someone isn't pushing you forward, they're holding you back. The right relationships will make you stronger. The wrong ones will tear you apart. Tip number eight, take ownership of your life. No one is coming to save you. No one's going to hand you the life you want. A high value man takes responsibility for every decision, every mistake, every victory. It's easy to blame others when things go wrong. It's easy to make excuses, but every time you do, you give away your power. You give away control. If you want to be a man of value, you have to own everything in your life, the good and the bad. Every choice is yours. Every failure is yours. Only then can you start to build the life you want. Because until you take ownership, you're just waiting for someone else to fix your problems. And they never will. Tip number nine, develop effective communication skills. Words, they're more than mere sounds, they're weapons. And a high value man, he knows how to wield them with precision. It's not about speaking the most, it's about saying what matters. At the moment it matters most, Learn to listen more than you speak. Pay attention to what's unsaid, to the truths that linger beneath the surface. Communication isn't just about filling the silence. It's about commanding the room, earning respect with every word that leaves your mouth. Know when to speak, but more importantly, know when to remain silent. Master the art of making your message sharp, clear, undeniable. Because when you control your words, you control the narrative. And when you control the narrative, you control the outcome. Tip number 10, embrace adversity and resilience. Adversity is inevitable. No one escapes it. The question is, how will you handle it when it comes? A high value man doesn't break under pressure. He doesn't run when things get hard. He embraces adversity. He understands that every challenge, every failure is an opportunity to grow stronger. It's easy to succeed when things are going well, but when the storm hits, that's when a high value man reveals himself. Resilience isn't about never falling. It's about getting up every single time you do. It's about knowing that no matter how hard the world hits you, you're going to hit back even harder. You don't avoid pain. You don't shy away from struggle. You face it head on. And when you do, you become something more, something stronger. There you have it. Some tips to help you on your journey to becoming a high-valued man. But remember, these aren't just lessons. They're your foundation. 
pillars that will hold you up when the world tries to break you. Commit to them, and you won't just become a man of value, you'll become a force. A man who commands respect, who ignites change, who leads in the shadows and in the light. But understand this, being high value isn't a badge you wear or a title you claim. It's a relentless pursuit, a journey with no finish line. Every day, every decision, every moment, it's a step forward. So step into the world and become the man you were always destined to be. Remember, it's your world. Build it.